Hi, I'm Vince with Barco, and today we're going to talk about the new features of EventMaster 4.1. You can find a full list of these features in the README file located in your download package, which can be found here. Let's talk about presets. Complete, which is what we've been doing all along, versus relative, the new feature in 4.1. A complete preset is a snapshot of all of the layers and their parameters in all of the armed destinations. However, a relative preset is a snapshot of individually selected layers in the armed destinations. Let me show you what that looks like. As you can see, I've created two complete presets already. Let's take a look at those two presets and how they interact with each other. Well, now I want to create a relative preset where I float in layer 4 to the left side of the screen. So I'll make sure I click the relative radio button. I'm going to go to my layers tab and I'm basically just going to hide all of the layers that I do not want to record to this relative preset. So I'll go back to my preset tab and click save from preview we'll call this one enter layer 4 because we're bringing in layer 4. Well now I want to create a second preset that clears layer 4. So I will go in and I will clear layer 4. I'll go to my layers tab, make sure that I have all of the other layers hidden and only layer 4 shown. Go back to my preset tab and hit save from preview. And then label that one clear layer 4. As you can see, I can recall my two relative presets without affecting my complete presets. And that's relative presets. Next up, destination groups. For those of you who use the original Encore system, this may seem a little familiar, but in 4.1 it works a little bit different. Let me show you. As you can see, I have created a couple of destination groups, but to create a new one, I simply select and deselect destinations that I would like to have in my new destination group. I'll click Save Group, and we can see the destinations that were added to that group. Now I can recall these groups by simply dragging them into the programming pane or selecting them and hit apply selected. And that is the simplicity of destination groups. You may have noticed during this demonstration our newest feature, the circle alignment test pattern. And that circle alignment test pattern is located under the test patterns drop down menu shown here. We've also added support for 2SI, which is located in the output connector settings under SDI type dropdown. For the EC50, we've added the disable T-bar as one of the programmable custom buttons. A new feature for the EC200 is a soft shutdown button. Click the soft shutdown button, it'll ask you if you really want to power off the EC200. You hit save and power off. Backgrounds can now be used as inputs in destination or auxes. Let's go to the input tab. We added a new backgrounds button. Select the background that you would like to use and drag it into a layer.
With version 4.1, if you own other Barco products, we now offer you the ability to reach out of EventMaster toolset over the network and talk to your other Barco devices, such as image pros, like the ones we have here. All you have to do is drag any Barco device on the left-hand column to open the web app, which gives you access to that device's internal toolset. Our goal with this feature is to centralize your Barco tool sets and to help you streamline your setup process. Uh, let's check out an example of some of the linking options we've added in 4.1. You can now link an E2, S3, and EX as one system, as seen here. Other linking options can be viewed in the README file that comes with the download package. In 4.1, we've given the user the ability to set the last output slot as either the multi-viewer card or as an additional output card that can be used for destinations and or boxes. In addition, 4.1 introduces the ability to double the canvas size when you run a system at 30 frames a second. So, with that in mind, at 30 frames a second, the E2 can have a max canvas size of 40 megapixels, while the S3 max canvas size is 20 megapixels. Keeping in mind, this is when you are running the native frame rate at 30 frames a second. And that's EventMaster 4.1. Let us know what you think by emailing us at e2 at barco.com. Until next release, I'm Vince with Barco. Take care. Thank you.